The opposite of the victimhood is taking responsibility. Embracing your gender is the opposite of judging your gender. Whatever judgment we place upon ourselves through agreeing with something that's actually not the truth, or we believe uh, somebody that uh, a judgment that somebody places upon us, mm -hmm. what happens is we then try to overcome that judgment by being the opposite. And when we do that, we tend to embrace the opposite gender. So for example, masculinity or males were a point of pain in my life. I judged masculinity for that reason. Well, guess what? I don't want to be that thing I'm judging, so I'm going to try to be the opposite. And mm -hmm. I start embracing more of the feminine side. Well, guess what? That's not very attractive to women. But now I come across as a weak wussy, got along great with women, but I wasn't able to go deeper with it. Mm -hmm. I was just, I stayed in the friend zone. Mm -hmm. And so it was until I finally came to a, a, a revelation on how to walk, walk out of that, and I got married at 40. So how does, what does that look like now on the feminine side? Growing up, I felt like, you know, in my culture, I've seen so many men treating women as woman is there to serve them. If a woman has a degree of sort and went to university, it was not highly uh, looked upon. It was more like, why would you waste your time? You're going to be a wife and a mom and a ho ho housemaker. That doesn't require a degree. All it needs, you need to make sure you know how to cook, you know how to sew, you know how to clean and look after children. So I remember growing up, I was thinking like when I was a teenager, I was like, I will never be like that. And I will never let any man rule over me and tell me what I can or cannot do. I'm going to be a career woman and I'm going to create a life for myself and I can prove that I do not need a man for that. Well, guess what happened? I succeed in that. And I was single until I was 43 years old. Because of my belief and constantly proving myself that what I said I will have and achieve and create. I was constantly doing that and I had to keep my face up because I didn't want to be a liar. A lot of men were <clears throat> looking at me as... Found you intimidating. Intimidating. I remember I was on a date one time with a man and he said, listen, I'm looking for a wife not a boss. The basic premise upon which to break this cycle is recognize that, ooh, we got an issue here. Forgiveness is part of the process. Yes. Creating new agreements with a new uh, truth. And yeah. we cover that in other videos. So go through our selection until you find one on agreements mm -hmm. and watch that and uh, combine it with this video. And let us know how that works for you and yeah. share your testimony in the comments and like and subscribe click the notification bell button and then you can move into the better future change some things that you notice that are not serving you well anymore the opposite of victimhood is taking responsibility